Go. Hi, I'm Dr. Missy Shardy. Today we're going to go over extraction of a canine tooth. This tooth here you can see has a purple discoloration. On an x-ray we notice that it actually has an abscess or an infection up around the root of the tooth. So we're just going to kind of go through a little bit um, what we do when we take out a tooth. What I'm going to start with is I'm going to do a local nerve block in this area to prevent her from having pain when she wakes up. So we're going to put that in there and go ahead and um, get that blocked. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to um, make a, a flap into the into the gum tissue itself to expose the root of the tooth. And the root of this tooth that goes all the way back about this far in this dog. So um, we'll make an incision. And that's where our, we're going to start lifting our flap from. And so I'm going to take this uh, periosteal elevator and just start to, a little bit at a time, lift up this gum tissue. Okay, okay now that we have our gingival flap opened um, to where we can see the underlying bone, that's what we're going to use the high speed drill. We're going to drill out the bone um, to find the root of the tooth. Now you can see that we've gone all the way around the root of the tooth with the drill um, and loosened up uh, the ligament that holds that tooth into place and removed the bone holding it into place. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take our elevator, place it underneath the tooth itself, and elevate it out of the socket here. And you can see how big that root is. This is the crown here. This is the only part of the tooth that you can see from the outside. And all of this was hidden underneath the gum line. But you can see we got it all out, so that's good news. Now that we have the tooth removed, what we're going to do is we're going to suture this gum tissue back into place. So um, after I took out the tooth, I flushed out the socket really well and cleaned up any edges of sharp bone, anything like that. So what we're going to do is... Put a suture, this is a dissolvable suture that we won't have to remove at a later time. And we want to kind of just place this gum tissue back where it was originally. And just throw a couple throws in there. And that starts the beginning of the suture track. And what I'm going to do is going to follow it all the way up here where the incision went, and then all the way across this way where the incision went. And that'll make a nice tight closure in that area so that it has time to heal without getting an infection. Okay. Now you can see that this entire suture line has been closed. And um, it looks as though there has never been a tooth there. So everything should heal up really well. She'll be on soft food for about a week. Um, and then we'll recheck it and make sure it's healing properly. Um, but that's basically um, how we extract a, a, extract a tooth that needs to come out. Perfect.